For a king who is remembered as one of the great kings of Israel, perhaps the greatest, David's days were certainly not ones of unopposed success. His coming to power was turbulent as he was hunted by Saul. His consolidation of the kingdom against the threats from neighbours took a number of conflict-filled years. And then, when he might have expected to rule his people during days of peace, he faced continual domestic political troubles and challenges to his authority, including the rebellion from his own son Absalom. On the face of it, David's was a most troubled reign. So why is he remembered so highly? The Psalms reveal the answer to a great extent. It is David's relationship with the Lord that is so clearly on display. In a contemporary world where the nations would serve many gods, idols in fact, David knew that it is the one true God, the God who created the world and who chose a people to reveal his love for the whole world, that he is the only God to whom we can turn. So David was not just a king, but a spiritual leader for his people, calling them back to God and reminding them that in God alone, the one who cares for the weak and who establishes justice and with mercy is our strength and salvation. And so David is content to leave judgment and consequence in God's hands. David knows that he himself is flawed and weak, but he shares a passion for justice, even as he has has experienced God's mercy. Today's psalm, Psalm 61, is a, a personal lament of David at yet another time of trouble. We do not know when and why it was written. There are plenty of possibilities. But what the psalm does reveal is David's heart, for God. Psalm 61, for the director of music with stringed instruments of David. Hear my cry, O God, listen to my prayer. From the ends of the earth I call to you. I call as my heart grows faint. Lead me to the rock that is higher than I. For you have been my refuge, a strong tower against the foe. I long to dwell in your tent for ever and take refuge in the shelter of your wings. For you, God, have heard my vows. You have given me the heritage of those who fear your name. Increase the days of the king's life, his years for many generations. May he be enthroned in God's presence forever. Appoint your love and faithfulness to protect him. Then I will ever sing in praise of your name and fulfil my vows day after day. David is not only going through the motions of worship. He wants his cry to God to be listened to. He knows that God is greater, higher than himself, and that God has been his rock in his own times of weakness. His vow is to continue in praise whatever circumstances and troubles he may face, for he knows that as God has been with his ancestors, so he is with David that day, for God is faithful forever. David knows there is no success or vindication without the Lord's hand being upon him. And he knows that as generation flows unto generation, that God's love and grace will be with his people, until, through the Messiah, God's kingdom will come, and the true king will be enthroned in God's presence forever. Only our hearts can know if we have sometimes become satisfied with the motions of worship, or if we have sometimes forgotten that there is a God greater than us and above the heights we can reach. Well, may our God hear our cry in times of darkness and truly hear our prayers for help. 
But may we ask with a determination also to praise the God who embodied and redeemed our weakness in Jesus and gathered us forever into the tent of God. A prayer for today. Hear us, O God, as we cry to you. Listen to our prayer as we seek strength to face these challenging days. From days of comfort we have faced separation and distance from our loved ones. From plenty we have been found uh, with friends and neighbours and perhaps ourselves anxious now for the future. As we long for normality, we ask that you guide us in ways that mean our new normal will be more just and merciful, less forgetful of the needs of others, and more mindful of your faithfulness to our forebears, that we may seek your presence today. Amen.